Okay, here I want to show you how to, um, you know, calculate the the skin friction coefficient and the surface heat transfer coefficient. Um, usually, what you do is you go to data file quantities and you select. Oh, I want to, you know, transfer the surface heat transfer coefficient and the skin friction coefficient to the post processor. But in the current version. Um, it doesn't seem, this seems to be broken, um, which seems to be a defect in the software. So I want to show you an alternate way to do this um, and um, plot, you know, and, and so that you'll have the data to um, develop this, this correlation for the Nusselt number as well as for the friction factor. So what you would do is you will come to um, XY plot. So you use the Fluent Pros processor. And within that, you will go to Wall Fluxes. And within that, you would select, uh, you can select skill friction coefficient or you know the surface heat transfer coefficient, depending on which one you're working with. So let me pick surface heat transfer coefficient. Now, um, as reviewed in uh, other videos, um, it requires the reference value for temperature. So make sure you have the reference value for temperature set to um, the free stream. And then you want to plot it over the plate and say uh, save plot. And that'll plot the surface heat transfer coefficient. And now you want to export this to Excel. So you say write to file, write, and then I'll go to Rajesh desktop, um, MA6510, and I'll call this, um, let me say, surface heat transfer coefficient underscore demo. Okay. Um, and then close. Now, if I go to the folder, I see it's created that. Um, and now I need to read that into Excel. So I'll go to Excel. And uh, to get, you know, if you just copy and paste, well, let me first open this. So I'll come here, I'll say right click, open with, I'll open it with WordPad. And I'll strip out the header. Uh, so this first column is X and the second column is H, the surface heat transfer coefficient. It's from, you know, it's X is going from one to zero. I'm not sure why it's uh, that way and not the other way around, which is what I would expect. Okay, but that's not a problem. Um, so I stripped out the header and the footer and I saved it. Now I want to read it into Excel. Now, if I just copy and paste, this will go into one column. So I want to, you know, create two column data so what I'll do is I will go to, I'll say data um, and from text CSV and I'll say all files and I'll read in the XY file and you see automatically in this version of Excel, you know, it automatically identifies them as two columns. Uh, in the older versions, you have to say, you know, it, it looks a little bit different. Uh, you can figure that out. And I'll get rid of this. So now you have column one, which is X, and column two, which is um, the H. And then I can, from X, I can calculate REX by multiplying by a suitable constant. And from H, I can calculate NUX uh, by multiplying this column again with a suitable constant. And then um, I can you know, take log log and do a fit within Excel and I'll get um, basically this exponent, uh, N. And then for getting M, what you have to do is, let's say you go to this location, right? So for this particular parental number, that's a value of H and I'll get the corresponding Nusselt number. Now I need to get I need to get this value for uh, different Prandtl numbers. And that's actually quite straightforward to do. So all you need to do is go to 
uh, materials air and change um, this you know let's say from 2000 um, I go to 3000 uh, so that'll change my parental numbers you have to figure out what the uh, the CP value you need to use is say change create um, and now I need the solution for that new CP so all I need to do is say calculate and then if I look at my residuals um, okay it's uh, uh, it's actually converged in uh, pretty quickly um, and it will converge or you can reinitialize I don't think you need to reinitialize um, and then once you do that, you can go back to the XY plot and then just do save plot and that should be for the new parental number, the H, and then you do the same thing and then you can get, you know, H for the second parental number and so on. So maybe you want to call this H1 and then you're going to have a, a different column which is called H2. So there's quite a bit of data processing to do in, in Excel, but you, you know that shows you how you can get all your data from, um, from Fluent into Excel and, and do find the, you know find these exponents.